Hi guys, my name is Tanya. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If you haven't, once again, my name is Tanya. I talk about beauty and cosmetics, healthcare, all that sort of stuff. Um, I do reviews on the products that I try and yeah, welcome. Um, the reason for my video today, if you haven't already figured out in the description, is um, an unboxing, a Glamrider unboxing, and it's actually really, really special to me. So um, recently, and I'm, I hope I'm going to get this right because I am so darn excited right now, recently Glamrider held a high tea and a demonstration, and um, the ladies from Beauty News, if you don't know who Beauty News are, they are fantastic. Kat and Haley do a, uh, have a channel called Beauty News where they talk about all things beauty, um, all things that are coming out or, you know, just stuff like that. I will link their, um, their page in the description down there somewhere. Um, maybe even have a picture up here somewhere. They are fantastic ladies and they are funny as <laughs> Oh. Um, anyway, they went to a high tea and, um, Glam Raider from what I believe gave them an extra box. Um, they all got a, a goodies box to sit down. It was massive. Like they, they got two boxes of stuff and I watched some of the unboxings and it was amazing. I was like, oh my God, how come I didn't know this was there? Like I really, really, really wanted to go to this high tea. And um, I believe it was the first one that they ever had. They held it in Melbourne and I would have loved to have gone. And I think they're gonna be holding more. And if I can go like next year or anything like that, that's gonna be the bomb. But anyway. Um, they were holding a competition, they were giving away one of the boxes and Beauty News was giving it away for them and I won it and um, well I won the first prize and then there were two prizes after that and um, I don't know what to say really, I, I am literally blown away and it arrived today and Whew, my power went out earlier and I thought oh no I'm not going to be able to record this, like the power is going to be out for six hours and I was thinking I just want to record this now and the power's gone back on and I've got a small window of time the baby's in bed there's daylight coming in because I haven't got my lighting worked out properly yet so everything's a mess so I've just quickly thrown on something on my face to just to see if I can record this and I'm gonna do an unboxing of the box so I apologize if I'm hyperactive and I'm talking really fast or I've got any of the information wrong but I am really, really excited and I have to say thank you so much to Glam Raider and the ladies at Beauty News I'm blown away. Like, I don't have the words to describe how I feel like a child in a candy store. I feel like a kid at Christmas. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, I'm speechless. So anyway, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I, I'm going to do an unboxing and, um, I'm not sure if I'm just going to focus on the box or focus on me or focus on me in the box. I don't know how to do it. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing what's in this box, then stay tuned. And if you're interested in seeing more from me, go ahead if you like, like and subscribe. Um, don't forget to check the bell. Um, that way you can see all of the new videos of mine that are coming through. If not, thank you so much for coming anyway and take it easy. Welcome back guys. All right, let me show you this box. I mean, it, it's just a box, but it's impressive. Look at that. Like, is that not sexy? I, I'm not getting rid of this box. This box is, it's gonna sit on my, my vanity desk. It's just, that is gorgeous. Like, ah. Anyway, so anyway, like I said, we were going to unbox it and this is very awkward for me. I don't, I don't know how to, um, I think I might just open the box and we'll just see. Is it taped? One sec. Let's be awkward for a minute. Okay, I don't want to wreck the box. <laughs> I don't know how to open it. Okay, oh, yep, yep, yep. Cool. All right, here we go. My kids are going to love this bubble wrap. I'm so excited. All right, so. All right. The first thing is this... Eco Tools Color Perfecting Sponge. I love Eco Tools. I've got an Eco Tools sponge. It was the first one that I ever brought because I couldn't afford the Beauty Blender. Well, it's not that I couldn't afford the Beauty Blender. I didn't want to spend thirty dollars on the on the original Beauty Blender, and so I brought the Eco Tool ones for ten dollars at Safeway instead. Well, Woolworths now. And these, the aren't they cute? Like, look at them. So I believe that um, they're designed to be used with color correcting um, products, I guess, but. I don't color correct, I just, you know, I probably should, but these are going to, I love these, so that that's fantastic. They're definitely going to get a lot of use, those ones. That's great. All right, what's this? Mina. You know, 
I never actually knew that that was an M. I just thought it was uh, like an E, like, you know, one of those um, uh, back to front Greek E's or something like that. So I, <laughs> I, until I recently saw the, the ladies on Beauty News mention something about that, I just thought it was inner, you know, something like that. So I got a little, what is it? Lippy bags. Now, if you can hear men's voices in the background, I apologize. My partner and my son are playing um, Fortnite on the computer and the Xbox, so they get a little bit excited. So, <laughs> I love the color, and this is definitely going to come in handy. I don't have very many um, beauty bags or anything like that, so, and I'm getting a few products now, so, um, and I want to make up a little product bag for um, uh, my stepdaughter, so, hmm. Had them great. I saw these. These are cute. Look at this. They are flutterish eyelashes. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, unicorn fluttery eyelashes. So they're, they're eyelashes, but they've got wispier, longer bits. I've never actually used fake eyelashes, so this is going to be fun. This is from... Who's this from? Lashes. U well, unicorn lashes. Duh, Tanya. I need to slow down because I am so hypo at the moment. So that will be interesting. I look if I if I could have just one makeup product, it would it would be mascara. I I love to make my uh, my eyelashes look longer, and I have tried fake lashes and stuff like that, and it just gets annoying after a while. I enjoy putting mascara on. So um, sometimes I just walk out of the house literally just with mascara on. So this could be a game changer for me, like fake lashes. Like I know I just said that I've had f fake lashes on before, but I mean the ones that. Um, that literally get glued on and they stay on for is it three or six months I'm not sure something like that anyway but um I've tried those and they look fantastic but I, I wouldn't mind trying something that I could take off every night so this is going to be absolutely fantastic and it's going to be fun to try and I love the boxing look how cute that is I can't let anybody else see that because I know who's going to want that <laughs> all right wet and wild eyeshadow primer you know what I don't use eyeshadow primer because I've never I've never known to use eyeshadow primer. And when I did learn that you know you probably should use eyeshadow primer, I was just using my um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer um, over my eyelids. Um, I believe I saw Ellie Glines do that or something like that, and that's what I've been using. So the fact that I've got an eyeshadow primer now is going to be really really interesting because I would like to see whether some of my more cheaper brand eyeshadows actually work better with a proper eyeshadow primer rather than just straight on the skin. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I've been waiting so long to try anything to do with Wet n Wild, so that's I'm definitely going to get used. This video is probably going to go for a long time. I apologise. Ha! I've been waiting for this. I think I can already smell it, like through the box. Maybe me. Maybe not. I don't know, but. I think these get sold in Australia somewhere, but I live in a small town, and well, I live in Bendigo, um, and. It's not like super small, but it's small enough. And everywhere that I've been to, every price line that I've been to, um, pharmacy, drugstore, department store, I can't find this. I can't find anything to do with Physician's Formula. And I've been wanting to try it. I've been wanting to try mainly their, um, their butter bronzers, their blushes. Um, there's a healthy lip lipstick in the color Beats that I've been really, really wanting to try. So um, I'm definitely gonna be making an order with them. But this is awesome. What colour is this? This is bronzer. So I can't wait to try that. I think this might probably be a little bit too dark. But the fact that I actually get to try it and see it for myself and the formula is going to be great for me. Because I was literally just days away from doing my first ever Glam Raider um, purchase. And then I won this prize and I'm like, now i got to wait. But this is great, you know. So I am... Um, I'm excited about this. This is going to help me make up my mind um, whether or not um, I actually do go ahead and purchase the light bronzer because I think that probably would be better for me because I'm cool toned and I think this might be a little bit warmer but um, that doesn't matter because I've got some friends that are warm toned, uh, warm skin toned and um, yeah, yeah and um, I reckon, I reckon sharing is the way to go with this so spread the love. So that's fantastic. I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about how that smells because um, a lot of people say, well, there's a little bit of controversy about that actually. Some people say they can't stand it, but some are like, oh my God. So I'm just hoping that it's not really coconutty um, because 
you know, you go down to the beach and all you can smell is that faked, like, I think it's Latan, and that just grosses me out. I mean, if the formula's good, it doesn't really matter. I'll put almost anything on my face if it's gonna work. That sounded bad, I apologize. Moving on. All right, what's this? Ofra Cosmetic Laboratories. There we go. It's an eyeshadow blush. Ooh. I would probably probably more likely use this as a blush because if I, fi I find that um, if I put pink or even oranges around my eyes I look really sick maybe I'm doing it wrong I don't know but that is fantastic using palettes and kits I wonder if it's one of those magnetic back ones I don't have a, um, a palette kit that I could put this in but I can't wait to try that so Ofra I've never heard of that brand cool all right what's this another wet noir product all right what do we got um, felt tip eyeliner crayon. Ah, oh, yes. I've got one of these through, um, I got one in Bella Box from Mellow Cosmetics and I really want to try it, but I can't really do, I can't, I'm, oh, I'll just say it again, sorry. I can't really get away with doing wings because I have, um, deep set eyes and what do you call it? I don't remember what it's called, but anyway, when I try and do a wing, I've got this bit here that sort of goes over the top of my eyelid and it looks really really wrong so I might be able to do something underneath but um, I reckon I reckon I might be able to find someone who would like to use this so but I do like it it's awesome what's oh, this another wet and wild one wet and wild wild shine nail color yeah I think in clear I think top coat there we go Oh, matte top coat. Mm. I've got um, this gorgeous blue uh, nail polish. It's actually the only color nail polish that I wear on my toes. <laughs> and um, so that'd be interesting to put that on there because I do find that I get a little bit bored because it's a metallic one and sometimes I just don't want metallic. So that'll be interesting to try. I'm definitely going to try that. All right. BH Cosmetics Color Lock. It's a lippy. Long lasting, ooh, matte lipstick, yes. I like matte. I'm gonna open this one up, I wanna have a look. Let me see. I'm also gonna be making an order with BH. I want their, um, is it BH? Their ColourPop, I mean, psh, not ColourPop, their um, Zodiac palette, that's, um, I want that. I think that's BH, isn't it? Ooh, well that's a nice color, look at that, I don't know if you can see that. I, I like to wear deep purples and I know that they probably don't suit me but I just like it anyway and I don't care what anybody else thinks so I don't know if you can see that so we can do a that's pretty that's my color yeah I'm gonna wear that tomorrow what do I do with the lid I'm gonna wear it tomorrow I'm definitely gonna try that tomorrow that's great cute packaging too I like that no smell that's not an issue. All right, so there's a packet for that. I think there's another lippy. Ooh, ooh, who you, are oh, wet and wild. Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. Ooh, metallic lipstick. Is that one of those drying ones? I don't know, how cute's that? Look, and, and it's a similar color to the one that I just showed you. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, it's really hard for me to find lipsticks. A lot of the colorless, uh, a lot of colors of lipsticks don't suit me, but I'm really into like, whether it's the purples, um, but the mauves, but more of the purpley mauve. Like I can't really get away with wearing browns and stuff like that. So these are fantastic. That's, I'm, I'm gonna run out of words to say soon on how excited I am about this stuff. Ah, a brush, wet and white, yeah, look at that. <laughs> so this one is the contour brush, fantastic. You know, I don't, I've got a lot of, cheap and nasty brushes that I just brought from the reject shop and other than that I've got one brush from Real Techniques, Real Techniques which I just picked up the other day on the Priceline special I got it for 50% 50% off? I think it was 40% off anyway it doesn't matter um, so I got that because normally I use the Beauty Blender but um, one of the foundations that I've been using at the moment it really sucks a lot of it up and I wanted to see what it was going to be like with a brush anyway, and I really like that brush. And I got a couple of other brushes from um, Brain Fart again. Eco Tools. So the fact that um, I get to try some other brushes, I'm really excited about that. 
and contour a brush. I'd probably... I'm really not good at contouring. I've got to practice a lot more, but I'd pro I would actually, if I hadn't seen that that was a contour brush, I probably would have used that for a highlighting brush or a blush brush. So, but either way, awesome. That's great. All right, what do we got? More Wet n Wild. This is awesome. I love the Wet n Wild stuff. The Lash Omatic New Mascara Fiber Extension Kit. I've got sitting in my drawer at least 10 um, mascaras that I've brought from the drugstore, you know, ranging from everything from um, Rimmel, which I love the, um, uh, what is it, Superstay Rimmel one, I love that. I've tried, um, I've tried Maybelline ones, there's one that I really, really, really don't like. Um, you know what, I can't even remember half of the brands that I've got, but... I'm having a lot of trouble trying to find one that I really like. Um, I just got one in a Bella box, it was fantastic, like between the Rimmel and the one that I just got in the Bella box by, and I think the brand is Purr, I think, um, that one, I'm like, I don't know which one to use, but I think that's great, and I've wasted a lot of money. I don't even like the Essence um, mascaras, I've even got the L'Oreal... Um, magic something the ones that they add fibers everybody's banging on about it and i hate that um and so it'll be really really cool to be able to try this um i think one of them is a, a oh yeah one of them is a priming one and the other one um adds the the lash fibers that's awesome so link thing you know i'll be great i can't wait i can't wait i i think i'm gonna have to do another video tomorrow and just use a whole bunch of these products. I'm excited to use them, so that'll be absolutely fantastic. I've got some little sachets. I've got, I'll show you before I talk about it, the red carpet color. Okay, what's that? Body glow. Light. I'm not sure what this is. Hang on a minute. Pump it out. Da -da -da -da. First ever luminous body lotion that will stay put and not transfer onto your clothes. All over body lotion provides a gorgeous glowing coverage for Im for covering imp imperfections such as pigmentation, veins, cellulite, stretch marks, age spots, wrinkles, proven to give you healthy, super sexy, younger skin instantly. Nice. I'll definitely give that a go. All right. Shampoo, no yellow. Ah, this would be for blonde ladies. I'm not blonde. My mum has um, blonde hair, or blonde dyed hair, so I might definitely give that on to her. Because um, I would have absolutely no idea. I've never been blonde before. It's the one colour that I'm intimidated going. Like, everybody's going, like, go blonde, go blonde. I can't, I just can't. I, just, I want to, but I don't, I don't think I'd make a very good blonde. I, I don't know. I mean... Maybe I'll just get the balls and try it one day, but <laughs> so I'll definitely hand that one on. So definitely going to come in handy anyway, but just not for me. What do we got? Ooh, it's a palette. It's a face palette, I believe, by Revolution. I've not tried anything from Revolution because I've not tried anything from overseas. So hang on, let me see if I can open this. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, one sec. You can't get it out. I want it. Okay. Give me a sec. Uh. <laughs> so this is what happens when you bite your fingernails. And you don't have any fingernails to pull stickers off. I know. I just told you a horrible secret of mine. That's okay. Here we go. Alright. Beautiful packaging. Look at that. Oh, you can see my camera. <laughs> Maybe there. Ooh, I did not expect this. Look at that. Oh, wow. I just got a shiver just run all the way down my spine. That is pretty as... That is pretty. Wow. I gotta, I gotta touch it. Wow. Whoa, look at those colours. I don't know if you can see that. Wow. I don't think I've owned anything this pretty before. <laughs> I, I got nothing to 
say, this is gorgeous. Hang on, let me see if I can maybe swatch it on my arm or something. I'll put that down. All right, where am I going to... You'll have to excuse the tattoos, maybe there. Um, all right. I don't know how well you can see that. But... I don't know how well I can see it either. <laughs> no, that's gorgeous. I'm not sure how to use those. But I am definitely... Ooh, look at that. Look at the shine on that one. I'm definitely going to find a way to use this. This is beautiful. It's almost too beautiful to touch. Like, I mean, I'll show, I want to show you again because it is that gorgeous. Look at that. Let me see if I can get some sunlight on it. Even the, the packaging itself, like, it is... This is nice. I'm very excited about that. That's gorgeous. Wow. Oh we got another Wet n Wild one. Look at that. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Well, I'm definitely going to have to learn how to contour now, aren't I? Look at that. So it's got the two sides, so... Oh yeah? It shows you on the back how to do it. There we go. Well, I'm going to give that a go. This is exciting. I'm not so sure it's as exciting for you guys as it is for me. And I am trying to hold back a little bit because I don't want to look like this crazy, insane, hyperactive, like, I talk so fast that you can't understand me. <laughs> kind of like that. All right, Mina, the pen liner. I'll have another look at this one. Ooh, here we go. Made in Germany. Let me have a look. Ah, yeah, that's like the, um... The Mellow Cosmetics one that I have. I almost drew on my face. I want to... I might keep one of these. I'm not sure which one I want to keep yet. But I want to see if I can actually do something with it. So I think the other one was a Wet n Wild one, wasn't it? Mmm, choices. I might have to have a look at them before I d decide to gift it to somebody else. I see something from Real Techniques. Ooh! That's great. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I needed one of those. I've only got one, and it's a pain in the butt, because, like, if I want to go in with two different colours, I don't have a colour switch or anything like that, and, um, I... Ooh. It's got a little case that comes with it, too. So that one is the starter kit for eyes, an eye starter kit. So it's got a deluxe crease brush. A base shadow brush, an accent, is it accent? Accent brush, fine liner brush. Oh, good, I don't actually have a fine liner brush, so that'll come in handy. And a brow brush and a case for it to come in. That's awesome. Huh. Um, I'm, I'm not going to need to go out and buy any brushes now. That's awesome. I'm getting a little pile up over here. Look at this. Wet and wild. Purple. Sorry. Oh my god, oh yeah, Moonchild. I almost ordered this. Yes! <laughs> and also, ooh, what is this? Panther. So, okay, so I guess that's a black. Actually, I don't have a black eyeshadow. And it looks like a matte one, which is going to be fantastic because I really like to um, use it underneath my eyes um, and sometimes a little bit in the um, corner of my eyes, just to, oh, the outside edge of my eyes, just to define it. And I've been really wanting to try Wet n Wild eyeshadows as well. So, um, yeah, that's fantastic. Aren't they so cute? Look how little they are. That's gorgeous. I'm going to have to get something to, that I can put these in because I don't want them loosely rolling around. I see something interesting. It's in bubble wrap as well. little sucker. Ooh. Magnetized black. I actually don't know who this is by. Because it doesn't say. Hmm. I'm not even sure what it is, but I'm going to see if I can open it. I'm going to have to Google it. I think I know what it is though. Um, I think it's one of these new eyeshadows that's got a magnet in the bottom. So it's like a, um, it's like a loose powder, I think. I like a loose powder, but it's held in the pan by a magnet. I want to smell it first. Oh, that's, 
That looks like velvet, hang on. I don't want to drop it. It looks like velvet. I'll see if I can get a bit of sun on it. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if it's a black or a grey, but I'm going to touch it. Oh, that's... Whoa. I barely touched it. It was like, you know those weird, um, funny feeling, um, outfits that, you know, your mum or your nana might have worn? I think it's velvet or something like that. I don't know, but you rub it up one way and it, ugh, it feels disgusting and you rub it the other way and it looks silky. That's what it sort of feels like when you first touch it, but not in a bad way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick that there and see. Hmm? Oh, oh, that's nice. That's, that's like a, I don't know how to show you this. I don't know if you're going to see it properly, but it's like a, a gray, black, sparkly awesomeness. Like, that's fantastic. I don't know how I'm going to use it. I'm definitely going to use that though. Oh, that's beautiful. Sorry, that's, that's gorgeous. I don't know who this is by, but when I find out... I might actually look if they've got any other colours. That is gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to be able to pick on what things I'm going to try out first. I'm, I'm going to be busy for a little while. So that's great. I, I mean, I'm probably going to do a lot of reviews as well on half of the stuff that, that's here. And more Ofra stuff. Is it Ofra? Hmm. So, I'll show you that one. So that is a Winter Rose Blush. And this one here is a... Uh, apricot eyeshadow blush which I'll probably use both of them as um, just blushes although this one says that it's just a blush but it's looks like a color that I could actually or might have actually used as a um, uh, what do you call it transition shade I don't know it's got a little bit of sparkle in it so I don't know about that so but I'm definitely gonna give those a whirl yeah. More wrapped up stuff. We'll just we'll leave that one to last. Oh, I found another palette. The I Heart Revolution Violet palette. I've I've seen a lot of people do a reviews on this, and I started watching the reviews, and then I thought, yeah, I probably never end up getting it because you know I can't get a hold of it that easily unless I order online. So the fact that I've actually got one, oh wow, oh wow, I probably couldn't have picked a better you know, they couldn't have picked a better one. It's a vi well, of course, it says violet palette, but it's got purples in it, and that's what I like to wear on my eyes. In fact, I'm finding it really hard to choose anything on my eyes other than purples, you know. Even the colour that I've got on at the moment, it's sort of a little bit like a muted purple. I don't know if you can see it, and I don't really... Yeah, but, I, I mean, I love the colour anyway, so I'm going to open it. i gotta, I got to look at it. I just have to. Oh, it's in a cute... <laughs> it's like a chocolate bar. That's gorgeous. All right, let's open it. I don't want to drop it. I'm so clumsy. All right, hang on. Just rethink. Has it got tape on it? No, I've got to be really careful. There we go. Oh, nice big mirror as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. I'm going to have to show you. Probably going to see my camera, but look at those colors. Is that not gorgeous? There's a colour right here I'm excited about. This one here, this one here. In fact, let me look at it. Yeah. There might be only one colour, maybe two maximum, that I wouldn't consider using. And I wouldn't even know until I swatched it. But, wow. Cute names, too. I actually love the fact that the names are um, written on the inside and not on the back. Wow. I'm going to do a review on this one. I definitely am. I wouldn't know. I mean, I'm probably going to have to try a few different looks. Or well, maybe I'll play around with it first. I don't know, but... Yes, I'm definitely going to do a review on that one. It would be great if we could get some more of the Re Revolution Beauty. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. And the face palette, same brand, yeah? Yeah. I think so. I may have gotten that wrong. They both say Revolution, so hopefully. Hopefully I'm not wrong. All right. Adele. Here we go. I'm not sure how confident I'm going to be using these, but you know what? I am going to give it a whirl. Oh, look, it's even got some little tweezers in it. I mean, I'm looking at it, so you can't, but 
That is cute. Alright, so I'm probably going to mess this one up. So I'm, I'm probably not going to do this one on camera. But if I can get them on and I can do them right, I'll definitely show you the before and after. Like maybe on Instagram or something like that. I am on Instagram as well, guys. If you want to go and have a look, I'll leave a little um, thingy over here to show you exactly what my Instagram name is. Um, sometimes I do things on there and sometimes I do things here. But yeah, it's got, is that little glue? Yep. Adhesive. This could be a lot of fun. Could be dangerous. I could end up with them all over my face, but I'm actually excited to try that. These are the things that I probably wouldn't have brought for myself, you know, that would have been, because I'm the kind of person who walks in a store and I see something I really like and I pick it up and I go, uh, and I put it back on the shelf. Yeah, I might, I might walk out with, you know, a bunch of stuff for all the kids, but the one thing that I wanted, I put back on the shelf because I was questioning whether $5 was too much to spend on myself. So stuff like that, I mean, I probably would have never have brought for myself for this fact that I've got it in this box. It's great. That's, that's all I can say. It's fantastic. Wet and wild. Ooh, look at this. What are you? Lip gloss. Yes. I have not had... The, the last time I had lip glosses was probably over a decade ago. Um, actually, probably longer than that. Um, I, it would have been maybe when I was 15, 14. I was still in school. And... Um, they were always so tacky, like my lips would stick together, uh, you know, once I pulled my lips apart it would look like some sort of horror movie sort of thing, like, you know, rah, stringy, and it's, mm -mm. And I, I never tried another one since because I couldn't justify spending the money on something that was going to do that, and I know lipsticks and lip glosses have come a long way, and I've been really wanting to try one, um, and... Now I've got the opportunity to. I love the look of the colour. I'm not going to open this one up right now because I know that this video is already going for probably way too long. But um, I am going to be having a... Uh, I do want to do a video coming up soon of the lipsticks that I do have, um, brands, things that I want to get. And so I might actually talk about this one a little bit more. Um, I might have a little bit of a play around with it. So I'm definitely excited about that one. And it's definitely a colour that I would wear. Um... Or maybe even over the top of something. It depends on how it wears. So I'm really excited about that one. Oh, I see another palette. And it's Revolution again. And it's pretty again. It's another blush palette. Well, that one's a face one, but this one's a blush one. But look at it. Look at that. Like, I love these ones. Look at them. How cute are they? They look like other planets, you know, like Mars or something like that, you know, Jupiter, or whatever, not Jupiter, Mercury, or something like that, I don't know, but how gorgeous are they? That is gorgeous. I might have to have it just like a revolution palette video or something like that, I don't know. That's, that, yeah. Can I say again how much I really, really appreciate this? <laughs> That's gonna, move on, move on, sorry. I might have to edit the hell out of this video, just, yeah. BH Liquid Lips. Ooh, another one. BH Liquid Lipstick in the color Princess. I, I may spend the rest of the night just playing with this off cam secretly between you and me. I'm just gonna. Ha I'm gonna have to. There's no way I can have all this stuff on my desk and not touch any of it. Like I'm gonna have to wipe all this stuff off and just. I just play. There we go. There's the colour. I'm going to open it. I want to smell it since it's already out of the pack. Ooh. Okay. It's not like a fruity smell or anything. It's kind of like paint, but that's okay. Now, while we've got it open, maybe I will stick it there. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. It's kind of Barbie pink, isn't it? Hmm. I might have to have a play around with it. It's not generally the colour that I would wear. I do have an auntie, however, who would probably die for that colour. Definitely pretty. I just don't know whether or not it would suit me. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. Oh, oh it shears out too. Oh, look, look how far that spread. I just moved it just a little bit. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll keep it. There's a lot of product in that if it does that. 
Nice. What am I going to wipe that on now? I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Wet and wild. Rose champagne. I'm not sure what it is. Is that a blush? Yeah. Rose champagne blush. Yeah, that's not normally a colour that I would pick up, but I'm definitely interested in giving that a try. I've heard a lot of good things about Wet n Wild blushes and Wet n Wild um, mm, highlighters. In fact, I want to get one of their highlighters. I can't remember which um, range it's from, but it's got a little bird on it. Flight of Fancy, I think? Or am I just pulling that out of my rear end? I'm not sure, but I think it's. I think it could be Flights of Fancy, but... I'm definitely eager to try that. You know, I see another palette here, and I'm pretty sure it's purple. It is. I was gonna buy this. I'm so glad I waited. I mean, I probably still will. I'm gonna make another order anyway from there, but look at this. It's the Wet n Wild one. It's the Wet n Wild collection in the color, we, well, obviously purple, but where is it? I can't find the name of it. Is there a name? I don't know, but it's purple. <laughs> and that's all I care about. Oh, look at that transition shade. That's pretty. That's... I think this is a cool toned palette as well, which is bonus for me because I'm cool toned. So uh, that's awesome. I'm definitely going to try that. Oh, jeez. I've got so many things to try now. I'm excited about that one. That's probably... Yeah. I'm really excited about that one. I'm probably more excited. I don't know what I'm more excited about, actually. The, the um, violet palette in the... Um, what is it? Uh-oh. I've forgotten the name of the brand. I Heart Revolution or the Wet n Wild. But the fact is, is that I get to try both brands. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Sure. Oh, another one? Another palette. Whoa. Check this one out. I'll open up the box. It's the Revolution New Neutrals. Oh, oh, new Neutrals versus Neutrals. Uh, play on words there. Shifty, but I like it. All right, let's open it. I don't have a neutral palette, and I want a neutral palette. So this could be good. This is pretty much like everything I needed <laughs> to get me started, really. All right, let's be very gentle. It's got like a matte lid. Ooh, oh, big mirror too. Oh gee, I just realized how bright my lipstick is. It's okay. Big mirror, let me show you. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I guess the ones at the top maybe are the neutrals and the ones down the bottom are the neutrals. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe, I don't even know. Let me see, yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's definitely pretty. I, ooh, there's some warm tones there. Ooh. I don't know. I really, really like this entire bottom row. I'm not sure if I can get away with wearing these ones. These are the colours that I was saying that make me look sick. Oh, but there's ooh, yeah. But there's a colour in here. Like I would, I would probably consider gifting this one. But there's a colour in here that I really want to try, and I, I still might. Oh, I'll show you. This one here. I want to try that. I think that would be gorgeous. Even um, this one here. Either. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I love how it feels. It's like that. It really is like that matte sort of um, hmm, feel. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Gorgeous anyway. I dropped the little brush down there. So came with a little brush. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if I would use it but it's a little double-ended although it is pretty soft but I reckon I might actually put that one away for one of the ladies or one of the girls oh all right something's really really well bubble wrapped all right last but not least more wet and wild I'm so lucky. I mean, the amount of products that's in this box, or even just winning this box, and and the great products that are in this box, like the Wet n Wild and the BH Cosmetics and the and the I Heart Revel, I mean, all of it really. But look at these. I've got four of them. These are the Mega Glow Liquid Highlighters. I've never ever used a liquid highlighter. In fact, I was just pissing and moaning in one of my videos a little while back, saying that I'd brought a 
a highlighter from e.l.f., a baked one, and um, it just, it didn't work out for me. We're not friends, me and that baked highlighter. I'm, I'm handing that down to somebody else to see if they can make it work for them. And I was talking about um, the possibility of trying liquid highlighters and um, just other highlighters in general, particularly um, one from um, Wet n Wild. So the fact that um, I've got four of these liquid highlighters is absolutely fantastic to try. Like... I work, let me see if I can find the colors. How do I find the colors? Wing. Ah, the bottom. So the first one is Gilded Glow, which I don't know how to explain that. That's like a, I don't know, um, a, a goldy, pinky goldy sort of one, kind of sparkly. Absolutely gorgeous looking though. Like I, would, I can't wait to open these up and just check the colors themselves. And then there is hello goodbye and this is more pink and I think that one is absolutely pretty and probably I could probably get away with definitely wearing that one I probably could wear this one too but I think that um, depending on how they swatch it, it might be a little bit too much for my pale skin then the next one is goddess glow which is a, a deeper goldy one how pretty is that like, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I probably can't get away with wearing that one, but I definitely know who could. And, ooh, this is pretty. Halo Gorgeous. This one's an even deeper pink. That is gorgeous. I know there's definitely two that I'm going to have fun with, and it's those two pink tone ones. So both of them, Halo something. Halo Gorgeous and Halo Goodbye. Wow. That is absolutely awesome though. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm literally out of words like I'm so elated. Is that, a, is that the right word I'm looking for? Like over the moon like I couldn't stop thanking the ladies. I couldn't stop thanking Hayley and, and um, Kat and and I don't know how to thank Glam Raider um, other than just completely spamming their page with thank you thank you thank yous you know like I'm wrapped, that's all I can say, and I can't wait to trial all of these, I can't wait to um, do some reviews on all of these and show you the palettes and some of the other things, and I can't wait to share some of this stuff with some people that I know um, that are also in a similar situation to me where we pretty much buy all of our stuff from the drugstore, pharmacist, whatever, um, maybe Big W, Kmart. Um, and I mean, it's so limited, it, it, especially in our town, it is so limited, like, I'm excited. And, you know, if I can, if I can show some people some of the other products that we can't get, that we can get from Glam Raider, then I may have some friends that can order through Glam Raider as well. So, um, yeah, no, I am really, really, really happy. And I want to thank you guys again. And, um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope I didn't ramble on too much or acted like a crazy woman all over the place too much, but I am really, really wrapped and um, I'm just glad that I could share this with you guys. And I hope you come back and um, see or check out some of the other videos that I make. Definitely featuring, definitely featuring a lot of Wet n Wild products and some of the other products that you've already seen me show. So thank you so much again. Um, once again, if you're interested, like, subscribe, come back and um, join the fun. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.